I want I wanted to make sure for, for us to do this podcast, I wanted to I never want to do this without giving some kind of counsel advice to kind of help you with your career. Please, I know please. the next phase where you're going with negotiation, I think I have the right person to negotiate on your behalf. And if he's willing to represent you, I don't think you're gonna find somebody better. This guy named Don Lemon. Uh -huh. uh, who, when he was asking Elon Musk about being signed by X, I don't know if you know what he asked for. Can you, yeah, tell I me what happened. I want to unpack it for you, so just yeah. kind of take notes, because when you're yeah. going through, you got to make sure you got to ask this stuff. Yeah, yeah. So he wanted a free uh, a Tesla <laughs> Cybertruck. He wanted $5 million and $8 million salary. Elon Musk has compared a former CNN Don Lemon to spoiled child from Charlie and Choc Chocolate Factory after <laughs> yeah. a report claiming the TV host made a series of contractual <laughs> demands before his new show, Streaming on X, Lemon allegedly requested a Tesla's $8 million salary and an equity stake in X together equity. with a $5 million upfront payment on top. In a posting on X on Friday night, uh, Musk simply wrote, Don Veruca Salt Lemon. <laughs> What he say? Veruca Salt is the, is the one that goes. I want it now. Remember the girl that falls with the with oh, wow. the uh, the goose the goose egg. In reference to the character from the 1970 <laughs> film that sees the younger <laughs> youngster making clear her wants as she belts out, "I want it now." I want Lemon it is now. alleged <laughs> to have demanded a flight to wow. a uh, private jet flight together with a suite for him and his fiance, according to New York Post. In addition, it is claimed. Lemon asked for X to pay for a day of drinking and massages, the Post reported. Like, Don, like who is Don? Le like, bro, Don Lemon is so not relevant. For him to be like, yo, I want steak inside of X. Are you effing kidding why me, bro? Would, I'm trying to understand uh. why Elon would pick Don. Like, I don't think Don was ever a respected political voice on the left. Mm -mm. I, I don't disagree. I like but, but maybe it's kind of like, hey... You know, I, I, I'll I bring a, maybe in his mind strategically is, this is my Alex Jones of the left. You guys oh, are upset. So I read Alex on. It's kind of like, look, I also got another guy here from the other side yeah. that's going to be here. I love both sides. I think it's great to have a Tucker and to have somebody else. But I never looked at Don as even a journalist. I just thought he was like a prompter reader. Like, That's exactly know, what he was. That's exactly what he I is. I didn't know if he had like a political opinion. Like Tucker has a political opinion. Right. I, I, did, did Don ever have a political opinion? No, he was a propagandist. He just literally said whatever was coming into his earpiece, he was saying. Yeah, I, I just didn't know. I, I maybe I wasn't as. No, you're right, Andrew. You're you're one hundred percent right. I don't right. think Don and Tucker are equals, regardless no. of what their political points of view are. I don't think they're equals in ter equals in terms of their like uh, ability to influence culture. Who would be the left Tucker? Well, John right now. Stewart. Uh, no, oh, Tucker. I think John I think is John. so centrist. Like I think Tucker is very right, not very right, but more right than tu than John is left. Who? That's a I think great John is more Man. center. As far as name recognition, you've got John Stewart, you've got Bill Maher, you've our friend Cuomo. I mean, Don Don Lemon to me is delusional. Like the fact that he's de making demand, the fact that his name is even mentioned in the same sentence Jeez, as Elon Musk at this point. Don Lemon is like a hot chick who's washed up and he's like, I deserve the world. It's like, girl, nobody's buying you anything at this point, girl. <laughs> Would it be Jake Tapper? Ja oh, Pat? You, you know, you know, I got to tell you, man, I, I, I don't know. I, I was, um, you know, I was, uh, he wrote an, in one of the articles, he was being interviewed. He says, so since you've been away, what have you been uh, listening to? Rob, you send this to me, I think, when this happened. He says... Yeah, I've been listening to PBD podcasts. I'm mm -hmm. like, to what? Don? Don no, Lemon Don. said in an interview that he was uh, uh, he was listening to the podcast. Where I'm like, okay, maybe he was in a uh, what do you call it in a um, uh, uh, in a sheltered place. Yeah, it's kind of like all you know is you know mm. uh, 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 you know the left and all the stuff that CNN is feeding you and all these things. Anyways. Uh, right there, Don, uh, you know, uh, yeah, uh, go a little lower, zoom in a little lower. It's like uh, amongst his favorite recent podcasts, favorite yeah. includes uh, very conservative PBD podcast. Very. <laughs> Daily Water Ben Shapiro and his takes on Israel and all this stuff. And he watches Pierce Morgan, all these things. Okay. So I'm like, okay, cool. Pierce Morgan, I think, has done a phenomenal job the last six months, if he's you ask a, me. He's had a resurgence, man. Oh, yeah, dude. phenomenal. And, and, you know, I, I put Pierce and Shannon Sharp in the same league in the last six months. I think Shannon's like, Shannon's killing in a different him. way, Shannon's absolutely Love killing Shashen, it. Yeah. Really? So, but, but the point is, I was hoping for this to come out and be like, hey, 
here's, you know, what's going on. I had a blind spot. I had this, I had that. But then you double down on arrogance. It's not attractive. He's a diva. Yeah, it's He's not attractive. And then the guy that is giving you the offer, you go talk to him like you're interrogating him. It's, it's, a, it's a turn off. But I did not know he made all those asks. And I didn't know that Elon agreed to give him all those things. Oh, did he agree? Or this was like, no. I, I don't know if he agreed. I think he gave him the platform to come on. But then when this deal came out, he was like, nah, I'm not, I'm not doing any of right that. Right after the end of the interview, he's like, ah, I'm, I'm done. Um, our, our, our offer is off the table or mm -hmm. whatever. I God, think yeah. it was something where they were about to make a deal. Yeah, that was the main ask. I'm pretty sure they negotiated it to something right. different. But can, can, I, can I ask you something, Andrew? Mm -hmm. Just, let's, let's wrap up on this. So for you, okay. You know, you have you you have a guess. What you see? What do you put up? Farouk the, 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 yeah, the tweet. Elon is <laughs> Elon. Elon. Yeah. He's funny too, bro. So so for you, you you have a guess that comes on. Yeah. And let let's say you're somebody that you do a deal with Elon. Elon says, Andrew, we want you on X. Yeah. Okay, cool. You make a deal with him. You interview with him. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're going through the process. What are the basic rules or even the unspoken, like, you know, when 50 said, I'm 17 years old, the guys that are working for me, uh, I only have enough money to pay them. But if I don't pay them, I lose my influence. So I paid them and I was broke, but I made sure they didn't know about it. That kind of street wisdom you can't, you know, you have to have. But also in the interview, in, the, in this game of building the relationship and moving up, you also have to be careful to not... You know, you ask the questions, you go through some of the questions that you're curious about, but you also want to maintain that relationship, right? Yeah. What, what do you think are some of the, you know, approaches that Don could have taken to not interrogate Elon the way he did so he could have had a longer relationship with Musk? You could build respect first. Because I don't think Elon is against getting hard-hitting questions. Like, he's hit with them every single day. Every interview, I imagine that he does, somebody's going to ask him a really difficult question. But maybe build a little bit more respect. What I'm assuming is because Don had the deal with Elon and Elon has now been positioned as this right wing guy and Don was this darling of the left. I imagine that his ego probably made him think that in order to prove to his constituents that he isn't now sold out, that he's going to come out really hard on his now employer to prove to all his followers, hey, I'm still authentic. I'm still rocking for my beliefs, et cetera. And maybe that was a miscalculation because maybe he is a really thoughtful, intelligent dude. And maybe Elon saw something in him and, and realized, Hey, he'd be a, a great asset on this platform. And now he has a little bit more freedom to kind of, you know, be the person that maybe Elon knows him to be. Maybe he knows something about him that we don't know. But I think that there is a way to ask people hard questions that, uh, in a little bit more elegant manner. And, um, but also there's like a – sometimes I feel like with the, with the gotcha questions, there's like a little like sociopathy in it. Like I, I feel like uh, you ask somebody to be in your interview and you, you have no empathy for how they might feel bringing up something really difficult. Like it's different when it's a presidential candidate because they're auditioning for a job. But like just somebody that you're interested in, and then you ask him, then you just start banging them with these fucking hard questions. It's like that's still a human being. They got family. They got these things. So I don't know. I think a certain amount of elegance when you're getting to that topic is good. That's the key word, elegance. Yeah, that's the key word. And he lacked it in that interview. And it's by, by the way, this could have been on a serious note. This could have been. There is there is not a bigger opportunity he could have had. Mm of a person that would have opened up the floodgates for him. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know how he got that opportunity. Because even if you go to CNN, Cuomo was a face for a few years, back to back to back. Yeah. Yeah. Cooper was the face. O'Reilly's face. Hannity face. Tucker face. I don't know if Don was ever the face. Never. Don was always in the bottom 50. I think it was ranked 50, 49, where he was ranked. Yeah. And, you know, that, and they even tried to make the show change. And then he had that other show with the girl and all that stuff. And even that got canceled. But I thought this was a great opportunity for him. Again, another reason why podcasting is a very different game mm. than reading teleprompters. And then you run back to CNN for that interview. A little bit disappointed. I thought the approach was going to be different. I got a handful of questions I'd want to ask Don. If Don was... Uh, 
you know, wanting to sit down and have a conversation. I got five questions I'd want to ask him. What do you want to ask him? Uh, I, I, I'll tell you privately, okay. but I but I don't want to say it because then I want to ask him because you 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 all it's I like the, he just got twenty five million dollars right the remaining money in the contract five, yeah. whatever the contract that was yeah. paid to him right whatever from CNN, CNN, owed him. From CNN. Yeah, he got the remaining deal. money yeah so he got the remaining money and and then you go back to do the to do the interview with CNN right after your Musk interview is over with but yeah, there's a there's a part with Zucker maybe working on something behind closed doors now he's you're, saying now you're cooking. That he's saying, hey, guys, stay tuned. I'm about to announce something. Uh, what's the whole thing? We're going to bring the team together. The, 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 bring the band back bring together. Bring the band the together. Band. I think Zucker may be doing some conference calls nobody knows about to say we'll bring the band With together. With the CNN, the old this band. This is great well, PR right here, right? Yeah, I think it is. And by the way, you know, you, you, uh, 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 th this is... Because uh, Cuomo's right now with News Nation, and he's enjoying it on the cable side, right? I thought it's, he's coming here. No, non-cable is with us. Okay. Cable, he's with News Nation. We, we're not interested. We're not competing cable. So cable, yeah. you do whatever you want to do. Cable, you know, on the non-cable stuff, you're going to see him a lot more involved here, stuff that we're doing, because this guy's going to be voting for Trump. So we need somebody yeah. else that we can be talking yeah, yeah. to. And we need some more he, lefties around here. No, guys. no, no, well, meaning you're not... I. I, I don't think you're you're very happy with what Biden's doing and what Biden's America look like. And, you know, the, the conversation. I'm just like Fox. I'm fair and balanced, guys. Everybody right. knows that yeah, about yeah, Fox. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's, fair and that's, that's, that's where I'm spending at, a lot of time with Dave Rubin. That's exactly. what happens that's when what you happens. do that. So but anyways, going uh, uh, going back to this, I think Zucker may be cooking something behind closed doors mm. and they trust Zucker. And maybe mm. Zucker is going to do something for cable. And it's we election know. year. It's election year. All these all these Bill Mars, all these people that we thought two years ago, they were like, oh, they're they're starting to wake up. Nope. Trump is Trump is the guy. Trump is gonna be the he is the freaking candidate. Now they're all starting that Trump shit again. He's evil. He it, it's all Threats that's why you said democracy. this year. This year it's like bro. Uh, but I it, tell you, it's happening if again. We if we are small thinkers and we're confused, and all of a sudden, Don Lemon says, "You guys are fools." I'm, I'm about back. to I'm, I'm about to start the next WMECAA representing people negotiating oh, on their behalf. Mm. And you guys, I'm the I'm the modern day. Ari Emanuel. There we go. I'm right. the man. I'm going to go broker all these deals and get a bunch of people with cyber trucks. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.